Hello everyone, Grizzly Bear Gamer Series with some more Hitman 2 gameplay. This time we are in Mumbai. I'm going to be bringing with me the Krugermeyer, the extra silent pistol, the combat knife, just something a little bit different, and my trusted EMP charge. When I was saying in previous videos just how useful this gadget is, I'm going to show you another use for it today. Welcome to Mumbai. So the first target we're going to go for is Darwood Rangan. We're going to head towards his tower now, but first I'm just going to pick up the lockpick we smuggled into this bars. I think that Mumbai is definitely one of the better maps in the game. Uh, it is, you are a little bit limited in Silent Assassin suit only to how we can kill the Maelstrom and Vanya Shard, but it's definitely one of my favourites still. So we're just going to head round to the left and pass these guards coming up here and there's a little gap in the wall where you can climb over it and that's how we're going to get into the tower. So here's the gap in the wall, just going to hop over it. You shouldn't have too many issues getting to the ladders just over there, just make sure you crouch. going to hop up here and we're going to scale the side of the tower. I really like the verticality of some of the maps, uh, especially Mumbai for this tower you can climb all the way to the top on the outside. Uh, things like that is just really what I like about the level design. Get a good view of the uh, Mumbai docks and harbour from up here. And now we're at the top where Darwood spends most of his time. Just got to be careful, there's a lot of guards here and they can be a little bit unpredictable depending on, it seems every run I did they were slightly different, but just as long as you stick to the outside you should be fine. I'm going to pick up this propane flask here and we're just going to set it as a trap for when Darwin comes over where we are now. So I'm just going to place it on the floor in a good spot. And the remote EMP charge, I'm going to hide behind this... Um, this pile of uh, construction materials. Okay, the reason I brought the Krugermeyer is because it is incredibly quiet, much quieter than the Silver Ballers. Otherwise, if you use the Silver Baller, guards will hear you shooting the propane flask for the first time. And the guard comes over. For some reason, guards can't see that the flask is leaking. They'll just ignore it, pretend it's not even there. Just got to watch out for this guy who goes to tie his shoe. Um, he can spot you on your way back. And now uh, Darwood is heading over to where we just were. So we're just going to time it right to detonate the EMP charge, which detonates the leaking propane flask and blows him up. Like I've said in previous videos, the remote EMP charge is an excellent gadget to have. And luckily propane flasks also count as an accident kill, so we've retained our silent assassin rating. Now I'm just going to head out the tower the way we came in, scale down the side again, and make our escape. We're going to head for the maelstrom next. We should be fine escaping from the construction site just as long as you're careful and head back over the wall. The guy on the floor just does some physics defying moves to tie his shoelace, very skilled. And to get to the maelstrom we're going to head around the outskirts because through the slums you have to watch out for the enforcers that can see through even your normal suit so it's easier just to run around the edge 47 our intel suggests the maelstrom is hiding somewhere in the city the tiny issue with mumbai is that there's a lot of crowds that slow you down massively when you try and run through them but it's not really that big of an issue there's an enforcer to the left here, as long as you keep running he doesn't notice you. The enforcers don't really, even on master difficulty, they don't see through your disguise that quickly. It's not like you're trespassing or anything when they spot you really fast. Difficulty... 
instead of going up the ladder, I'm instead going to climb up the side of a wall here with the uh, green parts on the walls. I'm doing this because the inside um, the house where the maelstrom goes, uh, the guard and the lady inside can sometimes see if you go up the ladder. Uh, so I just go this way, it's just a little bit safer. But you'll see in a minute I do make some pretty risky moves. So I'm not always safe. So I just sneak behind this guy here, wait for him to move along again, and head over the fence. Again, I'm just going to scale the side of the walls all the way up to the top, where we're going to summon the maelstrom. So you can just shoot the flag to get it to raise. Um, again, the Krugermeyer, because of how quiet it is, the guards won't fully hear it, they'll become suspicious, but so long as you use a Krugermeyer, they won't actually turn around and see you. Now, I'm messing about hiding behind this bench here, because the guards sometimes you can see through the fence for some reason, so it's easier just to stay behind this bench, just to be on the safe side. Um, when I was doing another recording of this map, for some reason the guards saw me through the fence, which ruined everything, which was a bit of a pain in the arse. I'm just going to follow him to get into this building here. The maelstrom was really quick this time, as you can see, he's just come in. Sometimes he can get into the building way before him and hide in the cupboard. But this time he was way ahead of us. This is the first time I've had the maelstrom that has the massive beard. I didn't know he could be that particular NPC model. But we just killed him, we're just going to hide him in the closet because his guard will come in in a second to investigate why he isn't ready. I'm just going to head out. I start going the wrong way here, then I realise, oh shit, run back, and this is where I make a big risky play by trying to beat the guard uh, to this area here. Luckily I manage it, the risk played off, but yeah. And now we're going to go to the final kill, Vanya Shah, who's in the train yard. Forty-seven forgets how to uh, climb for a second there. Just gonna head up and then down again. Climb up this drain pipe here. This is an easy way to get in without many guards spotting you. And there's a guard that patrols up and down on the top here. Uh, we're just gonna wait for him to turn around and hop over. Got to make sure to take this camera out on another recording I did. I forgot the camera and it spotted me and which fucked everything up, which I wasn't very happy about. Now I'm just going to head to the left uh, to get past the guards who were on the top rooftop. Head down this ladder here and make our way around the edge. I take a bit of a risk here in a second, um, as some of the guards are starting to spot me, I still climb over. Uh, luckily I ma managed to get over in time, but it was a bit of a risky play, but like before, it paid off luckily. And now we're just going to get behind here, into these bushes, and just wait for Vanya Shah to come and wash her face. Okay, so I've skipped ahead just a little bit. Vanya's finished dealing with the court now, she spoke to her assistant and now she's going to come in here to wash her face. So while she's washing her face we're going to go and kill her with the combat knife. The blood effects don't really work how I expected them to but a kill's a kill so I'll take it. And now we're just going to head out. Luckily escaping from the train yard's a lot easier, just head out through this window here. There's just a couple of guards to get past, and then we're in the clear. So I get my Krugermeyer out, just in case I need to distract this lady here, or take out the camera, but it's fine because I can go through the bushes. And there's two guards up ahead, they're pretty easy to get past as well. So we're just going to head through the shipping container to get past those guys. 
and we are in the clear. So I start heading towards the boat, realise, oh, the train's here, that's perfect timing, I'll get away using the train instead. So that's Silent Assassin, suit only, no knockouts, massive difficulty on Mumbai. Thanks for watching, guys, I'll see you next time.